So today we're going to have a quick run through on how to put together your Be Wild indoor climbing frame. So in the box you will find 12 rungs, two pre-assembled side frames, two extended foot rungs, 24 screws, four wood screws, an allen key and two locking star screws. Right so now that we've seen everything that's included in the box we're going to have a quick run through on how to put the indoor climbing frame together. For this stage we're going to need a pre-assembled side frame, six rungs, six screws and your included allen key. So we're going to take each rung and line them up with the recessed holes on the inside of the pre-assembled side frame and use one of the screws in the back side of the pre-assembled side frame and align it with the rung. Right, so when we're doing these up, as previously mentioned, we're just making sure the rungs line up with the recessed holes. When doing them up, uh, we want to make sure they're tight enough so that the rungs don't spin, but not overly tightened so as to crack the, uh, the pre-assembled side frame. Right, so we've finished putting in the bottom row of rungs. So the next stage will be to do the exact same process, but for the top row of uh, recessed holes again. Right, so now we've finished putting together the one side of the frame, ensuring obviously the rungs line up with the recessed holes. We're going to repeat the process with the other side of the pre-assembled frame, again ensuring the rungs line up with the recessed holes. So I'll do that now. So for this section, from personal experience, what I find is easiest is if we insert each screw partially into each rung. It just helps to ensure that they line up with the recessed holes a lot easier before you tighten them fully. Right, so now the screws are halfway in, I'm able to take the allen key and just tighten them up, ensuring the rungs line up with the recessed holes. Right, so now we've finished putting together most of the climbing frame, we just need to put in the bottom extended foot rungs. So we need the extended foot rungs, and you'll note both sides are recessed, and there is a pilot hole drilled into the, uh, the bottom of the frame. So you're going to take the foot rung, slide it into the sides, and line up the recessed hole with the pilot hole. If you take the wood screw and just put it through the foot rung, you'll be able to guide it through into the pilot hole. So if we do that for all four screws, and then we're going to take a screwdriver and just tighten them up. Right, so we've finished putting together the indoor climbing frame. So now all that's left to do is to insert the star screws into the sides. So if we pick the frame up and open it up. We're just going to insert each star screw into each side. Right, so once we've inserted these star screws into the side, we're just going to ensure the frame's on a flat and hard surface. And obviously due to the nature of the wood, it can become twisted during the, uh, the manufacturing process. So all we're going to make sure is that the frame doesn't rock. And if it does, which this one doesn't, um, we're going to just press down on the side frames. This should ensure the frame sits square. Once that's completed, your indoor climbing frame is done.